Hi, this is from A to Vegan and I'm Chris and today we have Marisa Miller Wolfson with us. Very nice to see you. Nice to see you. We saw you at the uh, Veggie Summerfest last month and unfortunately we missed your movie. And I wanted to ask you all about your movie today. Please do. Because you have so much going on with it. You have, it's just building and building and building. I keep hearing about it and you're getting more showings and it's really starting to get out there. So how is it going with all this press and where are you showing next? Well, it's really exciting. Um, you know, we've been working on it for many years and um, it's wonderful for it to finally see the light of day and get feedback from people. Um, yeah, it's just this community is amazingly supportive. I mean, people yeah. just, you know, every week there's a new Kickstarter, for example, for now there's one for vegan bodega, for example, in New York City. There's vegan food trucks, there's vegan pop-up restaurants, there are films, and um, that's a great way to get um, excitement for your project. So we got a lot of publicity from our Kickstarter. We've gotten a lot of, you know, buzz from our screenings at the AR conference and at Veg Summerfest. And now we're going to go to Vita Vegan um, Bloggers Conference, which I'm so excited about in Portland. Um, to do our last sneak peek preview, and that's going to be on Thursday, August 25th at 7 p.m. at the Curious Comedy Theater. That's your last one. It's our last sneak peek. Yeah. Sneak peek. Yeah, sneak okay. Peek means we've just been doing conferences, so okay. um, you have to preserve your world <laughs> premiere virginity, actually, for um, for kind of the film festival circuit. Okay. Festivals like to um, be able to say, you know, we're your world premiere or whatever. Okay. So that's in a couple months for you. Actually, that's in one month. One month? One month. Oh I my know, gosh. I know. Well, we just found out we got accepted to a film festival, which I cannot share yet. Um, okay, because, that's okay. Yeah, but I will probably right after you put this up. But um, it's. let me just say that it's going to be in September in one of the veg friendliest big cities in North America. So if people go to getveggicated.com, they yes. will find this information eventually. Thank you, Chris. Okay, yes. great. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. I'm just really excited um, about the people who were in your movie, but I was also wondering what you got out of the movie by watching these people transform. Have you thought about, have you had a chance to actually think, I know you're crazy, and this has turned into just probably more than you ever thought it was going to be, which is yeah, great. It's yeah. wonderful. But have you actually stepped back and thought, what? you know, besides, you know, I, I made a movie, which is fantastic right, right right but just kind of personally like mm -hmm. how does it make you feel now that you've helped these people mm -hmm. and and really started their journey for them and shown so many other people what it's like to be vegan and how you can change your life well that's a really good question thank you um i used to do screenings all over the country of other people's documentaries um, so I showed Peaceful Kingdom, I showed Tribe of Heart, I showed Mad Cowboy, I did a couple screenings of Earthlings, um, and I got to be witness, I got to witness a lot of transformations from that, including Jasmine Singer, whom you interviewed. Uh -huh. She's one, she's my best friend, um, one of the closest people, and uh, she actually went to a screening that I organized of Peaceful Kingdom, went vegan from that. So I've actually been witnessing people going vegan through film f since I started at my a film advocacy in like 2004 or actually no that was more like 2003 and um, it was wonderful to finally capture that process on tape because that was the difference it's like okay there are all these films about why to go vegan but there was nothing really about the day-to-day -day process and the day-to-day -day opening and transformation that happens emotional physical psychological so it was wonderful um, to be able to catch that on camera. Did you yourself go vegan and go through this whole process? It must have been a while ago because you said that it was, it's been seven or eight years since you've That's actually right. been working on this stuff. So it's probably yeah, before that. Yeah, exactly. So that was in 2002, I uh, was at my Unitarian Universalist church and a little old lady in tennis shoes um, kept asking me to go to screenings of various documentaries that sounded horrible. I mean, you know, the cow at my table and, you know, these other things. Oh, do you want to see meat your meat? No, I don't. No. <laughs> don't want to meet my meat. Don't want to. <laughs> I'm not meet meeting my meat today. No, I'm not meeting my meat today. <laughs> uh, after coffee hour. And then finally she said, do you, would you um, like to see uh, We Are All Noah? I said, well, that sounds harmless enough. And it totally was not. It was, it was <laughs> of course it wasn't. No, of course it, it wasn't. It sounds like yeah, it's, gonna, exactly. it's drawing you in. Yes, yes. Right? I, yeah. I took a page from, from her, from that. Um, 
and I walked out vegetarian and I grabbed a little pamphlet while I was there um, that was called 101 Reasons Why I'm a Vegetarian but it was really why I'm vegan and why you should be too <laughs> and I read it and then I was vegan on the spot I was like the end and I plugged in I had two mentors in the city um, one eventually became my boss at Kind Green Planet um, Mary Max and that kind of started the journey to advocacy. That's awesome. Yeah. It's so nice to hear different people's stories. Because everybody it. comes to it differently. I know. Well, I different read processes. that you uh, are a farm sanctuary con. I am. I told Gene that too when we interviewed oh, him. Oh, wonderful. He probably looked at me like, oh, oh, I've heard this story so many times. But he's so sweet that he's like, really? No, but you know what? <laughs> he really is he, so sweet. He's so sweet. He's one of the best people. You know, he donated on our Kickstarter. And he's going to be an associate producer. Oh, that's awesome. Isn't that awesome? Oh, uh, yeah. You want yeah, him involved. I was involved. like, woo. I almost emailed him. I was like, are you sure you know that this says associate? He was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, good, okay. Great, great. That's all I yeah. was asking. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, no, Gene's wonderful. And you know, he'll appreciate anybody who says they had an aha moment at his sanctuary because he's um, poured his life into that organization. Well, it's interesting when you go back, and I'm sure you've done this, when you go back and go, why didn't, there were these other times yes. that I that I can trace when I should, should have, have done this before, exactly. but you can't go back. That's okay, mm -hmm. but you can remember all this stuff. And you can also have compassion for other people who aren't quite there yet. Yes, absolutely. And you can That's say, really important. And, yeah, and you can yeah. say, okay, well, this person saw this film or read this thing or saw this speaker, and they didn't, you know, go vegan on the spot, they didn't go veg, but we've planted a seed. And, right. um, and then, you know, I had so many seeds planted that did not grow <laughs> um, until I was ready, you know. Until you were ready, and that was it for you. That was it. So we all have to just, you know, be patient, and, but consistent, and keep on going, keep on trucking. Speaking of planting seeds, I wanted to ask you about the Kickstarter program because when I went onto the website and I went onto Kickstarter, I was like, I've never been on this thing before. Oh, you hadn't. And it was really cool because there's so many, there's just so many things that you can, it'd probably take me days or hours or like just a lot of time to look through that. I just looked at Vegucated, but it's really interesting process how you, how you find someone donates mm -hmm, money mm -hmm. and then they'll get something from from the person who's working on that's the movie right. that's right so uh, I mean it's kind of totally brilliant it really is yeah and there was a, an article about it in I think New York Times magazine this past week or the economist or something that my husband handed me that I haven't read and um, anyway it's uh, yeah kind of totally brilliant and I get Kickstarter requests you know literally every week from someone doing something, a really cool entrepreneurial project. They cannot be for nonprofits. They do have to be for, you know, creative projects. Um, you know, and I've heard about community centers being, having seed money. I've heard of, um, as I said before, bodegas and vegan truck, you know, vegan food trucks. So it's a wonderful um, way for vegan entrepreneurs to connect with their community, not just make money. It's not just about making money. Yes. It's about connecting with people through the interwebs and actually kind of pre-selling pre and kind of pre-promoting whatever you're doing. So I encourage people to, to do that. It seems to be working for you. I have the feeling, just because I've seen you now all over Facebook and Twitter, you are great at promoting your stuff. <laughs> You, oh, no. you're, you're awesome at oh, it. Thank you. Because I look at it and go, oh yeah, you know, I, I, because we're gonna do a don't make a donation for you. Thank you. And I just kept. Oh, I'm so glad she's reminding me. She's <laughs> reminding me to do this because I'm getting old, <laughs> and she's reminding me. But it's great because you're reaching so many more people, and I know through the movies you're getting so many more friends who are, people are friending you, they're finding out more about yeah. what you're doing. So it's really a great time to be a filmmaker. It is. I mean, when we set out to make this film, we didn't want to make, you know, a huge big Hollywood film. And it's, it's, that's not what it is, and that's not what it's going to be. But we really made it on no budget to be, you know, a little film that people can show their friends and family to explain why they're going vegan. But because of the groundswell of interest and support on this topic, um, it's getting bigger and bigger. It's you know, great. as we're doing it, we're like, oh, oh, this might actually do something. You know, whatever that means. But we do have, we have a digital distributor who came to us. Can you believe that? Like, they, like, oh, we love the title and veganism is so hot right now. We, you know. There you go. Okay, <laughs> all right. 
So we're working, we'll be working with them for the digital release this fall. Wow. Yeah. You are so busy. I don't know <laughs> how you do this. This is, must have taken over your life. Oh, it still is. Yeah. My husband's like, um, when am I going to have a relationship with you again? And I know you only, from what? Only five months, honey. Just, you can wait it out five more months. And it's been, did I hear you say seven years? Is that what you said? That you've been working on this for seven years? Well, the thing is, is you, uh, I learned that in filmmaking, you cannot make a film that is fast and good and cheap. So we picked good and cheap. Good and cheap. <laughs> that was what we had to work with. And, um, yeah. and we made it. And I joined a filmmakers collective here in New York City. And they're real filmmakers. Like their stuff is on PBS. And I mean, they're like for real. And they, they ripped it to shreds. And they continued to rip it to shreds. And I had to reshoot and rework and redo and rewrite re-record and really fine-tune it to make um, to make it the best that it can be for what it is so how was it for you when they ripped it to shreds <laughs> oh I'd imagine that's like sticking daggers yeah. right through you yeah there was one guy who did not hear my whole spiel about well we're done shooting or whatever this was later in the game um, he you know wasn't paying attention he was like well I think you need to just redo it Oh. <laughs> and I was just like, what? You know? And um, so. This sucks. Just do it again. <laughs> thanks. Like, yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> but um, no, it was hard, but it, you get, it gets easier with anything creative. If you, whether you're, you know, I used to do comedy, I used to do acting, I used to be a dancer and stuff. Like, you just have to learn to suck it up and can, consider it an opportunity. Yeah, um, you mentioned your comedy. Yeah. And that's the thing that I've heard the most about this movie. People are loving it because you've incorporated something in it. That's why I want, that's a part of, big part of the reason I want to see it. Oh, good. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. Well, there's nothing really out there. There's some, obviously, some films that have comedic moments um, in them, but there's nothing that really, the tone is comedic. Right. Um, we also have very serious parts, and um, people say, you know, they laugh and they cry. Um, but but that's I, the best. I mean, yeah. anything you watch, you want both of those uh, You things. do. You want. Yeah. You do. For sure. For sure. You know, that's just, that's kind of my MO. And um, I, I tried to make a film that I would want to watch. And, and that's really important. Yeah. Because peop other people are going to watch it when they know it's from your heart. Right. Exactly. Right. And a huge part of that wasn't me. It was the people we chose. It was Ellen, who's a stand-up comic slash um, emergency room psychiatrist. <laughs> And her kids are so cute. They're in there. They're in that too. And then Brian should be a stand-up comic. And Tesla's just so candid with her feelings and her emotions. Like she doesn't like vegetables or beans, which is a slight challenge for someone a trying little. to go vegan. Yeah. yeah. Tiny. And um, she is totally candid. She will, you know, go like this right in front of Furman. <laughs> you know, eating his kale. She'll be like. So people laugh at that. They appreciate her honesty. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, because you don't want to see something that, that's fake, and that's not the purpose of the no, movie. No, no. So, I mean, you want somebody who just lays it out all on the line, because also, if she has a change of heart, which I'm assuming she's got to have something changed yes, in her, because yes. she's a person, people yes, change. That's right. Um, that it's more important, too, because they know that she's for real. That's right. She's really changing. You've got it. You've got it. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Well, thank you so, so much for talking. Thank with us. you. So everyone has to go to getvegucated.com and they have to see Vegucated the movie. <laughs> thank you.